to become vishwaguru you have to gain knowledge and after gaining knowledge you have to spread the knowledge then only you can become vishwaguru and iit madras is doing the same by opening up a new campus in zanzibar sir how is this a part of becoming vishwaguru yes uh, so uh, the national education policy talks about internationalization and uh, when the internationalization has many facets including student exchange program faculty exchange program joint degree program joint doctoral program many things uh, it, set, setting up of a campus is also one of the very important aspect of uh, internationalization so there was a committee constituted by the ministry of education under the chairmanship of uh, dr radha krishnan uh, previ uh, previous chairman of the isro and then uh, they came out with certain recommendations and we are looking at those recommendations very seriously and um, at that point of time uh, the implementation of the opening up of international campus was given to the respective iit so we started off and one of the important step that we looked at important three points that we looked at was uh, whether uh, they need a education system that country where we want to go will they need an education system as big as india as big as iit madras what would be the need for it first second thing is that um, uh, will will the government that support us third thing is that uh, uh, will the house of school education system there and all uh, africa actually ticked all the three boxes so from right from the day where we started till the day you now we uh, started thinking about this uh, i still remember uh, around honorable minister dharmendra pradhan ji myself and uh, secretary higher education sanjay ji we were just discussing from that day till the day when our honorable yesterday the first minister jay shankar ji went and signed uh, the mou it's just 6 months okay so that means uh, there's a cabinet approval there cabinet approval here you know about the, all the legal processes so this has gone super fast right and this is all possible because of the support of the respective governments how many students are being engaged what all courses you are introducing in that campus and uh, e Uh, faculties are from uh, iit madras or you are engaging uh, people from uh, tanzania also uh, so the uh, so uh, we are opening up two courses immediately the classes have already started last week of october uh, we have the bs in data science and ai and the mtech in data science and ai we were initially planning about 45 to 50 students we filled up all the things uh, we had just one and a half months where we went and even created awareness about this campus what is that course etc etc and iits and all these brand everything was done within this short period and things have worked out very nicely uh, now uh, the, we in the next 3 years we'll be starting up another two more programs two to three more programs uh, basically on uh, mining ocean engineering electronic systems these are very important uh, employment generation and also needed for a country like us africa last time we spoke you said iit madras for all so it's a part of you know the yeah. campus inauguration IIT, is a part of, yeah iit madras for all uh, started off with iit madras for actually bringing up uh, uh, equitable affordable quality education for all right and we actually started some rural interaction center 198 of them is there today now and uh, we are uh, motivating young people to basically come up in and higher education so the contribution of iit madras in all these uh, facets form the basis of the society and for all now uh, we are now uh, globalizing that all now we have gone to tanzania new three courses you have included data science and medical engineering and another uh, online courses you have started all these things uh, you know there is a campus on uh, offline classes happening in zanzibar so is there any possibility that students who are here can also go and study there yeah this see there's a specific admi admission process for tanzania which we are now doing there the admission process basically starts off with uh, you know um, the admission process is that there is an eligibility test followed by a personal interview and that we want to make the uh, even the tanzanian government has been very clear that we should not compromise on the quality and merit of admissions so that they were very clear about it so we have done that in the full spirit and then it's 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 happening there and uh, so i must also tell you that the response i got from the interview committee who have interviewed this uh, students phenomenal response they say that kids are brilliant and uh, i'm sure the first batch the historic batch of any iit's uh, international campus the first batch i'm sure will be great uh, so what is the input from uh, indian government and uh, tanzanian government uh, the tanzanian government is giving all the money uh, uh, they have they have giving all the money so the saraswati is from india and lakshmi is from tanzania so this is uh, iit madras director who is saying that saraswati gyan knowledge is invested from india and tanzanian government is investing money to spread the gyan knowledge with camera person Man manoharan 
This is Ritesh Ranjan, DD News India.